friends, Romans, countrymen, when me your ears. Let me have such men about me that are fat, <laughs> sleek-headed men, and such as sleep o' nights. <laughs> Cassius has a sleek and hungry look. He thinks too much. Such men are dangerous. Oh, fear him not, Caesar. He's not dangerous. He is, he is a noble Roman and well-given. Such men as he be never at heart's ease while they behold a greater than themselves and therefore are truly dangerous. Come on, my right hand, <laughs> for this ear is deaf. And tell me truly what thou thinkest of him. shouting. I do fear that people choose Caesar for their king. Then I must think you would not have it so. I would not, Cassius. And I love him well. A another general shout. Aye. Do you fear it? The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves that we are underlings. Brutus and Caesar. What should be in that Caesar? That his name should be sounded more than yours. 
I had rather be a villager than repute myself a son of Rome. A Roman? A Roman. A Roman. A Roman. A Roman. A Roman. They say the senators tomorrow mean to establish Caesar as a king. I will this night in several hands throw as if they came from several citizens. by his death. And for my part, I know no personal cause to spurn at him, but for the general. He would be crowned. How that might change his nature, there's the question. Loneliness is young ambition's ladder, whereto the climber upward turns his face, but when he once attains the utmost round, he then unto the ladder turns his back looks in the sky, scorning the base degrees by which he did ascend. So Caesar may. Every drop of blood that every Roman bears and nobly bears is guilty of a several bastardy if he do break the smallest particle of any promise that hath passed from him. I will wear this dagger then. Cassius from bondage will deliver Cassius. Is Brutus sick? <laughs> Within the bond of marriage, tell me, Brutus, is it accepted I should know no secrets that appertain to you? Dwell I but in the suburbs of your good pleasure? If it be so, Portia is Brutus's harlot, not his wife. For you are my true and honorable wife. If this were true, I should know this secret. Tell me your counsels. I will not disclose them. Caesar, think you to walk forth. You shall not stir out of your house today. Caesar shall forth. When beggars die, there are no comets seen. The heavens themselves blaze forth the death of princes. Caesar should be a beast without a heart, should he stay at home for fear today. When they shall see the face of Caesar, they are vanished.
guaranteed caches. Have a nice. Caesar. Good friends, sweet friends, let me not stir you up to such a sudden flood of mutiny. They that have done this deed are, honorable. I have neither wit, nor words, nor worth, action, nor utterance, nor the power of speech, to stir men's blood. I only speak right on. I tell you that which you yourselves do know, show you sweet Caesar's wounds, poor poor dumb, mouths, and bid them speak for me. Ruffle up your spirits, and put a tongue in every wound of Caesar that should move the stones of Rome to rise in mutiny.